The script for the upcoming as of yet untitled 007 film currently known as Bond 25 appears to be in a state of flux. With the departure of original writer-director Danny Boyle and the last-minute additions of Neil Purvis and Robert Wade, along with the late arrival of Fleabag and Killing Eve writer-creator Phoebe Waller-Bridge, the current iteration of the script is said to be problematic, even as cameras begin to roll. In this video, we'll look at the beginnings of Bond 25, how the behind-the-scenes issues led to a change of directors, the last-minute additions to the writing team, and what impact they may have on Ian Fleming's master spy. The 2015 007 film Spectre, directed by Sam Mendes and written by John Logan, Neil Purvis, and Robert Wade, became the second highest grossing Bond movie of all time behind Skyfall. For the next film, producers Barbara Broccoli and Michael G. Wilson set their sights on train spotting director Danny Boyle to write and direct the then untitled Bond 25. Boyle had previously directed a Bond short featuring Daniel Craig for the 2012 London Summer Olympics. Meanwhile, the distribution rights were set to come up for bid as Sony's deal with MGM and Eon Productions was due to expire. Despite rumors that he was being replaced by a plethora of different actors, Daniel Craig announced he was returning to the role of James Bond on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert on August 15th of 2017. Boyle and his writing partner John Hodge got to work writing as the studio were gunning for an October 25th, 2019 release date. Along with Craig returning as 007, Leah Sado, Ben Wishaw, Naomi Harris, and Ralph Fiennes were all set to return. The Force Awakens star Lupita Nyong'o was rumored to have joined the cast, however those rumors appeared not to have panned out as negotiations fell through. Though things would appear to be going smoothly, behind the scenes, there was trouble brewing. In May of 2018, the James Bond distribution rights were purchased by two suitors, Annapurna and Universal. The up-and-coming Annapurna would distribute the 007 movies in the United States, while Universal would distribute them internationally. MGM would retain the digital distribution rights. Although Boyle and Hodge were hard at work on a script of their own, according to The Guardian, on August 21, 2018, longtime Bond screenwriters Neil Purvis and Robert Wade apparently had completed a script for Bond 25. That script was, quote-unquote, put aside in favor of Boyle and Hodge's script. Few details are known about Boyle and Hodge's script other than it was to be inspired by current events and today's political climate. According to a call sheet obtained by Bond fan site MI6HQ.com, casting was to include a Russian actor to portray the film's villain, or even possibly an actor from the Balkans. The list of characteristics for the role included charismatic, powerful, innovative, cosmopolitan, bright, cold, and vindictive. The call sheet also mentions a strong physical and very striking female lead role who was also Russian. This character is also described as intelligent, brave, fierce, and charming, witty, and skillful, a survivor. This suggests that this character could have been some sort of double agent. The casting call sheet also included a role for what's described as a henchman played by a Maori actor with stage combat skills and described as authoritative, cunning, ruthless, and loyal. Things initially seemed to be going well. Then suddenly, on August 21st of 2018, on the official James Bond Twitter handle, word broke that Danny Boyle had suddenly departed the film. No explanation was given other than due to creative differences. However, information surfaced as to what those creative differences may have stemmed from. On August 22nd, 2018, The Telegraph reported that those creative differences may have been the result of a casting decision made by Boyle and with the film's modern take on the Cold War and current tensions with Russia. However, in the end, it seems that casting may have been the main bone of contention. As previously stated, Boyle wanted the film to feature a Russian villain. An industry source told The Telegraph that ultimately, it may have come down to a disagreement with the film's star. Actor Daniel Craig apparently has a large role to play in the casting process. The source claims that Craig even has final say in who will star opposite him as a Bond girl. This industry insider says, for example, he chose Eva Green to be the Bond girl when it came to the final four for Casino Royale, and that has been the case for all the Bond girls he has worked with. 41-year-old Polish actor Tomasz Kot, who appeared in the film Cold War, was allegedly the preferred choice to play Bond 25's villain, a choice that according to The Telegraph was described as being quote-unquote left field for a Bond villain. With Daniel Craig having a significant say in casting, the actor may have clashed with director Boyle over the choice of whom would play the film's villain. The Telegraph source says, I have heard that they wanted to bring that Cold War element in but update it to the modern day. Danny Boyle was in for that. That wasn't the problem. The problem came in when they were making the final decisions about casting pre-production. 
The source also notes that the inclusion of Craig's name in the announcement of Boyle being fired was, quote-unquote, very telling. With the departure of Boyle, his script along with writer John Hodge would also go with him. On September 14th of 2018, Digital Spy reported that 007 screenwriters Neil Purvis and Robert Wade were back on board to write Bond 25, with Casino Royale writer Paul Haggis being credited for the film's story. With new screenwriters and a new script, there would also come a new director. Kerry Fukunaga, best known for his film Beasts of No Nation, would become the first American director to ever helm a Bond film. However, these were not the only things that would change. The production start date was now delayed till March 4, 2019, and the release was now pushed back from October 25, 2019 to February 14, 2020. In a statement, Barbara Broccoli and Michael G. Wilson said, We are delighted to be working with Carey. His versatility and innovation make him an excellent choice for our next James Bond adventure. With a new director, yet another new release date would soon follow. On February 19th of 2019, news broke that the still untitled Bond 25 would be delayed from February 14th, 2020 to April 8th of 2020 due to extensive script changes. Scott Z. Burns, screenwriter of The Bourne Ultimatum, was brought in to overhaul the film's script. With all the changes so far to Bond 25, there would come one more change that would send a shudder down the spine of many fans. Reportedly brought in at the request of Daniel Craig, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, the writer-creator of the BBC series Fleabag and the BBC America series Killing Eve, was hired to, in Craig's words, liven up the script for Bond 25. However, most genre entertainment fans recognize her name from a role she has become infamous for, the politically motivated droid L337 from 2018's Solo A Star Wars Story. According to an article on Vogue.com, Craig was a fan of Waller Bridge's witty one-liners in the series Fleabag, and he specifically asked for her to work on the script for Bond 25. When asked by the Hollywood Reporter's Awards Chatter podcast if the film would have a feminist angle to it, Waller Bridge said, Well, we'll see. We'll see what I can sneak in, but it's mainly about making them feel like real people, you know, which they do in previous films. In addition to Waller Bridge joining the writing team, another cast member would be added. Oscar winner and Bohemian Rhapsody star Rami Malek was reported on April 25th of 2019 to have joined Bond 25 as the film's main villain. The same day, actor Jeffrey Wright was also announced to return as Felix Leiter. But even with the film's cast and writer's room increased, there was still no official title for the film. Yet with the news surrounding the film, there would be a voice of displeasure that would surface to remind those involved that all was not well. In an interview with Empire Magazine dated March 7th, 2019, director Danny Boyle lamented that exiting Bond 25 was a great shame of his career. Boyle stated, What John Hodge and I were doing, I thought, was really good. It wasn't finished, but it could have been really good. We were working very, very well, but they didn't want to go down that route with us. So we decided to part company, and it would be unfair to say what it was because I don't know what Kerry Fukunaga is going to do. I got a very nice message from him, and I gave him my best wishes. It is just a great shame. Meanwhile, two days prior to the Empire interview with Boyle going public, shooting had begun in Jamaica, London, and Norway just outside of Oslo. Filming was also scheduled to begin in the Italian town of Matera. A synopsis for the film was revealed on April 25th, which read, Bond has left active service and is enjoying a tranquil life in Jamaica. His peace is short-lived when his old friend Felix Leiter from the CIA turns up asking for help. The mission to rescue a kidnapped scientist turns out to be far more treacherous than expected, leading Bond onto the trail of a mysterious villain armed with dangerous new technology. A live press event with the cast, Barbara Broccoli and Michael G. Wilson, was also held from Ian Fleming's GoldenEye retreat in Jamaica and streamed on social media. Yet despite the pretty public face that's been put on the project, looks, it would seem, can be deceiving. On May 9, 2019, the Daily Mail's Baz Bamak Boye reported that although production on Bond 25 was well underway, the script seemed to be far from finalized. The script was apparently being rewritten by committee, and when asked about it, a source close to the film responded by saying, What script? According to the article, Waller Bridge's role as screenwriter is larger than we were first led to believe. Originally brought in to merely flesh out the story's humor and to punch up the female characters, Waller Bridge is said to be, quote, rewriting a rewrite of a rewrite, end quote. The source also claims that Craig and director Fukunaga are contributing to the script as well, which the source claims is a well-polished shitshow. 
The source goes on to say, They have an outline of a plot, but dialogue is all last minute. It's not the way to make a movie. I would imagine they'll sort it out in the cutting room. That's where most movies get made anyway. But you'd think the Bond lot would be more together. On the morning of May 14, 2019, news broke that Daniel Craig injured his ankle on the set of Bond 25 in Jamaica. The 51-year-old actor was running when he slipped and fell. He was flown to the U.S. for x-rays. According to The Sun, his injury was said to be tweaked ankle ligaments, and he is said to return to filming within a week. His injury is believed not to affect the film's release date. However, the weekend's shooting in London had to be postponed while he recovers. On May the 15th of 2019, Metro UK reported that prior to his injury, Craig was seen having a heated argument with director Kerry Fukunaga. The discussion happened away from the rest of the cast and crew who were busy working on the film. Those observing noted that both men seemed quite animated as they hand gestured back and forth during the exchange. The exact nature of their discussion is not known at this time. Metro UK also noted that Craig was furious after suffering his injury, throwing his suit jacket down in frustration as he had spent months getting into peak physical condition for the film. It should be noted that this is not the first time Craig has injured himself playing 007. In 2005, while filming a fight scene for Casino Royale, Craig inadvertently knocked out his two front teeth. On the set of Quantum of Solace, Craig separated his shoulder and sliced off the tip of his finger. While filming a fight scene for Spectre at Pinewood Studios, Craig sprained his knee, an injury which turned out to not be severe as he returned to filming only days later. With the script in a state of flux, and with no official title, it would seem that Bond 25, allegedly the last outing for Daniel Craig as 007, may leave the series both shaken and stirred. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, then please help share it and share your opinion in the comments. Midnight's Edge aims to give the most comprehensive analysis and commentary on genre culture and entertainment. If you would like to see more of our videos, then please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and remember to indicate that you would like to be notified when new videos are uploaded. If you really like what we do, then please support us on Patreon until a better alternative comes along, or send us a direct donation through PayPal. Also check out our sister channel Midnight's Edge After Dark for live shows and other rants. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay tuned for more here at Midnight's Edge.